<laughs> okay, we're live. So welcome to Hukalo TV. Uh, my name is Roy, and this is my beautiful partner Kim. So a big hello from ourselves from Australia today. It is the 19th September 2015, and we're back in Rochester again with Jim and a full house of people doing our regular Hukalo Saturday webinar. So. I'd like to have a big introduction for Jim and everybody else in the room today. We had I have Sabrina, unfortunately. She's had a busy weekend last week. So someone actually has a YouTube running right at the moment. So I'm going to ask everyone to mute themselves. Oh, no, that's probably us. Okay, very sorry, that was me. My mistake. I wish we could start again. <laughs> so we'll take it away. I've got some introductions to do, to be honest with you. I want to do them really quickly, so we'll get that we'll get them oh, please done. Do. Right, we've got a radio interview with Kim on Karen Newman's show tomorrow at ten AM EDT. So this time tomorrow. You can catch Kim on About Oneness, that's on the Pyramid One and Blog Talk Radio, I believe. The link is on the website there. Uh, Sunday, we have our new meditations, and that's going to be headed by Jim this weekend. Uh, that's 7 p.m. Sunday. Uh, we have a new Thursday night channeling special coming up, and that's going to be done with Safira and some very special guests, including special guests and also members of Hukolo who are ready to channel. That's going to be around 7 or 8 p.m. EDT on Thursday nights. And also, Will's event will be live from Mount Shasta, the Equinox, on the 23rd of September. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce Will, who can introduce everybody who's in the online room here, and then introduce Jim with everybody at his place. Take it away, Will. Yes, welcome. Welcome to uh, Human Colonies regular Saturday webinar with Jim Charles. And in the room we have Ash. Brian, Dan, Jim, Krell the Alien Wolf, Neil, Noha, and Sean the Shiny Dude. And Jim, please introduce everyone in the room. And we have Kim and Roey. Can't forget Kim and Roey. You'd have to unmute yourself, Jim. Unmute yourself, Jim. Oh. <laughs> or, or, can you hear me now? Yes. Absolutely. Right. We have 12 people here today, and a couple of them are new, so I, I'm not sure of everybody's names yet, but I will, I will go around the room and I will uh, get, get them once again. So right to my left here is Raymond, and then we have Francine and Sandy, and is it Nikki? And Sandy and Mark and Ann. And then on the floor we have John, and we have Angie, we have Barbara, we have Helga, and we have Mark. So I did pretty well, I think. So that was good. So welcome, everybody. We're going to probably change venues very soon <laughs> because we're all smashed into this room. So anyway, but it's lovely. The energy is very good, so I love it. And... Uh, after our introduction there, we'll probably need a blessing to start to clear, purify the room. <laughs> so um, I just want to start with a small blessing before we go into um, anything. And plus, I want to find out if anybody wants uh, anyone specific to channel through me today or anybody they want to welcome here. Uh, hello? Sir, this is Oha. To her, please. Yeah, I missed her last time. That's fine. Oh, to Kerr? Okay, who else? The Blue Avian? Who? To Kerr. I request to Kerr. To Kerr? The Blue Avians? Okay, who else? Cryon? Who else? Uh, Anyone? Anyone from Telos? The Arcturians? Someone said Arcturians? I'd like to see Grindle if he's available. Okay, Grindle. Oh my God! Don't mention his name. He'll be here. So he will. 
he'll definitely be here if you say his name, so expect him. Uh, Gaia. Oh, yes, Mother Earth. Any All right, let's say a small... Angelic beings, very good. Any angelic beings? Okay, let's say a little prayer, and um, and I will I will start off that way, and then I'll do a meditation, and we'll and we'll see who comes. Okay, Jim, before you and start. If, if then, yeah. Yes. Jim, before you start, can you adjust your camera? Yeah. So that your face is is more centered for the broadcast. Oh, I'm not centered. Well, I mean, I've been up and told down. that before. There you go. There, perfect, <laughs> perfect. Thank you, Raymond. Not too much, too much, too much. Too, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, how's that? Awesome. All righty. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, my cam my cameraman. So, okay, <laughs> let's do a little prayer, and then we'll I'll do a meditation. But I want to just thank. Mother, Father, God, and all those that are with us today and all these beautiful people with their great energy here for being here, for contributing to the ascension, for contributing to those things of great peace, love, and understanding, wisdom, goodness, kindness, and all the wonderful things that are happening in our world. We are looking forward to the new energies that are coming with Mother Gaia and the blood moon and, and the eclipse and all the things that are happening this month. So much energy and bliss is coming. We just praise you and thank you for that ahead of time so that we can enjoy it in the, pre in the present now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, just be with us as we bring in some beautiful beings, some beautiful spirits, some whoever has decided to come today. Thank you very much. Amen. So I'm going to do a meditation and then we'll bring in someone. I'll see you later. This going in and out is very difficult sometimes. Welcome, Grindel. How are Hello, you? how are you? You called my name, I had to come. I was there immediately. <laughs> I knew you wanted to talk to me, so therefore here I am. <laughs> so Absolutely. do you have any questions for me? I wanted to talk to you about Mother Gaia today. The earth is in a delicate state right now. There's a lot of changing energies. There's a lot of things going on in the world. There's a lot of uh, different changes going on. And so be kind to Mother Gaia. Send her a lot of energy this month. This is the month for her changes. For, for you know how uh, there are, it's important for the smoothness to come to the changes that are coming and help her with your energy talk to her comfort her because it is a change and with change is also the fear of the unknown even mother Gaia knows that there are some things that she will not comprehend immediately but it is important that you give her your undivided attention in some ways because there is very powerful and moving energy coming and she has many gifts for the world if it's if the smooth transition comes the way it's supposed to and I love her your your mother Gaia is the happiest sweetest world I have, I've met in a long time she can't stop being good and kind and it is because she knows that on her surface 
is the future of the the galaxy, and therefore she is am amazed and thrilled that she can benefit from that as well. So give her your energy. Give her the energy that doesn't belong to you so that she can purify it. But Mother Earth is in that way that she needs a little help, a little understanding, and a little more energy. There's a lot coming this month. A lot. So you may not see it, you may not feel it, you may not know it, but it's here. There's a lot of energy exchange. There's some new kinds of energy. There's some old kinds of energy that are leaving. Ah, yes. So to help the ascension, there are some energies that have to go. And some of these are already leaving your solar system. Because they cannot bear to be around such bright light. They have to move farther back. So therefore, you are doing a good job. Congratulations. You are welcome. Is there any questions for me today? Oh, yeah. The tail. One moment. <laughs> oh, God. All right. There we go. There we go. It's good. It's good. And if there are any questions, let me know. Do we have any now. questions All at right. this point? I do. Oh, I do. Oh, all one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Grendel. This Hello, is Grindle. Dan. Dan. Yeah, baby. How you doing? I have a feeling that you've been with me the past couple of days. Is that right? Yeah, I've been checking you out because I want, I like the bigger body for the channeling. Okay. I think I need a bigger body for channeling, and you have it, so that's cool. Yeah, that's why that was going on. Yeah, Plus, we're we're connected genetically or something. Yes, we're very connected, and that's the other part of it. Our connection's very good. You you like how I work. You like how I talk. So yes, I'm coming to you, but it'll be a there has to be some adjustments. So I will get to you in in time. But yes. I have been around you the last couple days. You are, I'll be able to fit into your body without being in pain. So that's a good thing. So that's one thing there. And the other thing is your thought processes are also very similar in, in some ways to mine. So that is a good thing too. Um, the only thing I might ask is that you do some maybe a little dietary adjustment so I can... Uh, feel a little bit more calm. I know you know what I mean, but that's okay. So, um, what, you, what kind of adjustment? You want like comfort food or what do you need? Yeah, not as much bread. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I don't like the bread either, but that's all they give. <laughs> yeah, not as much bread, but because that's like, whoa, okay. So, anyway, um, other than that, you're good. All right, all right. Thank you, Grinda. I'll make space for the others here. Okay, hold on. Somebody's talking here, and they can't. Nobody can hear you. Being a reptilian that you are, maybe you can give us an update or some information about the draconians, the other reptilians, um, crossing more to the light versus being reabsorbed into source. The situation as it stands now. I mean, there's got to be good re draconians. Yes, right? there are. Yeah. yeah. Bit. Well, the situation is sort of confusing with the draconians because they see that the light, the the fire has started with the ascension. They see that it's not going to go out, and so they some of them feel like they, it's a no-win situation for them. And so they're that's some of the what I'm talking about. People moving a, away a little bit, but the draconians that have embraced the fact that this can help them as well. They are staying and trying to understand what they can do. At this point, they're sort of static. Not, not, not truly static, but um, they are in a stasis of thought process. They're trying to decide what the next move is, how to do their next move in an upward motion, because they're not used to that. They're not used to being in this position where they have to either decide one way or the other because they can't they can't stay in stasis because it just won't work 
So uh, they are deciding how to do that. And they see what the ascension is about. However, it is not like them to be a part of something of this nature, especially when there's humans involved. Because, oh, you have to remember, at one time in history, humans were a snack. So, uh, but not anymore. But still, when they see humans, they look delicious. So, to join with them without them being a snack is very difficult because they're going to have to join forces with a group of people that used to be something totally different. So now, but they see that the opportunity is there for them to expand on what they know. Okay, so what about the human, the, um, like the bushes and the, the monarch that have reptilian, draconian in them? What about uh, them? Yeah, I mean, they're not changing anytime soon. They're going to fight to the end. That's difficult. Yeah, but, you, but you're not seeing something. They're, they're in pain over the whole thing. Oh. They're, they're in great, she asked about the monarchs and the reptilians that are all around the world in powerful positions. They're hurting at this time. They're not, they're not getting along well in their own skin, so to speak, because the energies are changing. You see, whenever someone is in a very negative situation and change of energies come, it's very uncomfortable very uncomfortable and when you're in a very positive frame of mind or doing positive things it can be much more easily done it can transition smoothly and easily but they're seeing that these are positive energies and when you're in a negative sensibility and you're moving toward the light and things are getting lighter then you're very uncomfortable and they're and very irritable and very frustrated and so you're going to see a lot more outbreaks of negativity because of that because they feel uncomfortable and negative and the changes are coming you're going to see some outbreaks that's all I can say that I already know what's in the works but I can't I, I, I can't divulge any other question thank you you're welcome <laughs> ah. I have a question from uh, so the Grindle. members. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Dan, may I jump in a second? Yeah. So yeah, Grindel, may I, may I, may I offer a blessing to all those that are struggling with uh, yeah, with their negativity and coming to the positivity. That we have nothing but love for ah. you here. That the holy fire has you, and can help you come to the light in a very natural an easy way that we've all been in your situation of the deep negativity and that there's only love for you here come when you're ready they're saying yeah they say gross stay away from me but at, at the same time they're going all right I understand but I don't want to do that you're you're breaking me up you're 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 you're, you're, yeah, but the, you're, you're chilling their buzz. So anyway, you're, you're making them come down to earth and they don't want to do that because they were on a pretty good high there for a while. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they were in full control and now they get, have some breaks and separations in that and they're trying to pull it all together. So that's very uncomfortable. So thank you for that. And they were, they're just saying, they understand, and some of them might be open to that, but I can't say that every one of them is. Now, Guru Dan, you were going to say something. Did you have an introduction or something? I did, yeah, I have some questions from uh, from members. Uh, ah. I have a question from uh, from David. He says, is Grindel aware of the existence of Kalask, the reptilian group that he channels? Is there a connection between them, as far as you know, and does da and do you have any recommendations to David for strengthening his uh, connection with that reptilian group? Kalask is the name. 
Well, Kalask has several different names. That's one name that they use when they're coming through to bring certain messages. You have to understand that the reptilians are, uh, when they're, they're very multifaceted. When they use one name like Kalask, that means they're bringing in a certain kind of information. And so that is more of a technological information. Is that not correct? Oh, he's I think not there, so. right? It's more of a technological information, whereas they will call themselves Zetspods in for another kind of information and Fendors for a different kind of information. So, but it's all basically uh, the the neutral reptilians that are trying to help Earth, but not in the way of enlightenment necessarily because we're not sure if our enlightenment will fit with yours but we do think that you and uh, oh, that we fit together in some ways since part of your DNA is reptilian from the very beginning so we are still open to give you words of wisdom I'm more open than others so but that's fine but yes, this other, this other segment is a wonderful group. I don't have anything against them. They do technological understanding. They do some other things as well. But they're more a, an intellectual group. All right. Does that answer your uh, question? He's listening, and uh, I'm sure that information will help him greatly. Well, let, I would like him to respond to that because... I want to get a verification on actually what they're doing because I am not in connection with all the different names. That I, I know that name, but I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but I believe they're the intellectuals and more technological group. Okay. David, if you're listening, if you can text me on Hangouts. Yeah, because I want to be... talk to you about that. But next question. I uh, have a question from Johannes. He wants to know what his um, connection to the reptilians. He says they seem right. to be interested yeah. in him for some reason. They are interested in you. You do have some uh, relatives that have some uh, reptilian in them. And also within yourself, Johannes, there's just enough reptilian to be noticeable by them. The problem is, the, one, the thing that they're most interested in is that you're growing in the ascension and how the reptilian is working in your system and how it is uh, also enlightened. And so that portion of your reptilian is also working with the uh, ascension and they are wondering how that can be in a total way. But it is working in a total way for the ascension so that's bringing them some interesting questions and telling them that it is possible for their species also to work in a very positive way and that sort of creeps them out a little bit <laughs> all right noted <laughs> David said on his um, his response to you is they are more into giving teaching that it's about a balance yes. between polarities, especially light and dark. Yes, that's the more yes, that's a spiritual angle of intellectuality of they that they have. So, but light and dark to them means something different than spirituality. You have to understand that light and dark is like saying good and evil, and instead of saying positivity and negativity, light and dark work in their intellect better. Do you understand He's, that? Yeah, he says so, it's also um, about responsibility. Very good. Yep. Okay. I got you. I know who you are now. Okay, good. Hey, um, they're a very strong group. Listen to them. They're not in any way negative. I know I, I am now connected to who they are, so I understand that. Okay, thank you. That's all I have for right now. The other questions seem to be directed. All right, you know what? Place. They're telling me that I pushed ahead again, 
So I'm they're kicking me out. Um I'm so I'm gonna go and leave somebody else in because they're saying, Hey, just because they mention your name doesn't have to mean you have to come every time. So I love you all and I will talk to you eventually again, I'm sure. But the tail's hurting anyway, so I gotta go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I sort of love you. Don't tell anyone. Uh, <laughs> See you again soon. Come visit me uh, when you're ready. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to ruin my reputation, but I think that's, that boat has sailed. So. <laughs> love that's you, Grindel. Love you, All right, next. All right, I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am to Kerr. Welcome. Welcome. They've allowed Kerr. me to come in for a short time because there are questions for me. Those who have questions for me, please ask, and then I can bring in the next person. May I ask? This is Noha? Yes, we came just Hello. for you, actually. Oh, my dear one, I just adore you. Yes. You have an okay, important because, question. My question is regarding the big question. I uh, have set my questions regarding taking me over there. So I've been taken? Yes. Although you will okay, not remember it right away, but you have uh -huh. gained energy from that area. Beautiful. What the... Uh, Beautiful. It will, has, it will have an effect on me, right? It will have an effect on you calming effect. Beautiful, beautiful. I sense it. Take me as much as you can because I'm free and I'm open for all this. Okay? You are, okay. you are being watched and taken care of. There are things in your life that you fear. Please do not do that any longer. You are taking care of the situation. Thank you. Well, appreciate it. Second question is regarding my hybrid children. Uh, Aditya and Arjun and girls uh, Anamika and Aileen, how are they doing? I'm sending them my, my love. They are all doing well. The major interaction between the two of us today is that you have visited them and the other thing is that the calming energy will help you to understand what you have to do next. There are, is a sequence of events that must happen for you so that you may move forward in your creativity and in your future. You are a metaphysical being. You have a great deal to offer. But you must calm down and understand who you perfectly are in this life. Because you are important. And you are so adorable, my goodness. You just calm me down, you know that? Thank you. I, will. I much appreciate it. I'm lost of words. Yes, Maybe. you are. Yes. I like your Love bliss. You take care of Love you. I like your bliss, and I like the, the way that you do get excited. But, for to, but it's necessary for this energy, especially the new energy, to come to you in a calm way that you can bring it in and let it 
soak through your whole being. If you're too excited and energetic, it will deflect some of it, and I do not want that to happen. Thank you. Thank you for this note. Well, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you all. Take care of yourself. I love you too. And that goes for many of you out there. The new energies, just be calm and accept them because that is the best way to bring them in. If you're too up or too down, you will miss the greatest portion of them because they are in the middle. They are in the life force. They are in the, the balance and the grounding of energies around the world. Of course, if you're very up, that is better than being very down because they will, they will still be able to work. But if you are calm, relaxed, and in a prayerful state or in a state that is accepted, they will therefore be more powerful and you will be able to accept them and bring them into your nature better. That is my message for you. There is much Excellent. bliss still Turf. happening and much depression. There is many things on both sides of the scale happening this month. It would appear that either you're in a great frame of mind or you are not. Try to b balance out. That is what they want, is you to be polarized. But you want the energies to be natural and balanced and grounded. Mother Earth is going through this with you. And as you ground yourself to Mother Earth, you are giving your energies to her. She is giving her energies to you. And you can lift up through the fourth dimension and still be balanced and grounded. Thank you, Takur. You understand you. that? Yes, absolutely. yes, absolutely. It is very important at this time that you stay this way, for the energies will do you much better good this way. Thank you so much, Dicker. Thank you so much, Dicker. You were, you are welcome. So, um, may I talk to Raymond for oh, a yeah. second? I'm sorry, Sean. For a second? I'm sorry, Sean. Raymond. So, Raymond, there's Raymond. a little feedback coming. A little feedback coming. So, can you turn right. down the speakers? So can you turn down the speakers? All right. Continue. Thank you, Tucker. Go ahead, Sean. Hold on. Sean. One moment. Um, I have a question. I had heard or watched a video from Prime Creator that there's in September we're going to be coming to a new Earth and that the present Earth is going to turn into a star. Is that true? In some ways. The energy will be more star-like on the Earth because the energy of the earth will be emitting and not hmm. the gra you see earth is noted for its gravity its pull it's bringing things down to it but now the energy that is coming to earth will be pushing also out it will be more of a balance what i was talking about there will be more of a balance between what is going out and what is coming in, and that is more star-like, because stars emit their energy. They do not pull their energy. They, of course, have a gravitational field, but it is moving out away from them. They are emitting their enlightenment, so to speak, whereas the Earth was, the gravity was pulling things into it, and that is not always a good thing to have when you're always just pulling. Now there will be a greater balance between Mother Earth and the universe, so to speak. So yes, in that sense, they, it will be a sun. It will be glowing in a greater way. And I had heard that the ones that are ready are going to a new DNA Earth that will be like on our own. The new DNA, this is part of what I was talking about, the balance. The new DNA is a greater balance, a greater understanding of who you are, that telepathy is part of who you are. And in that telepathy, moderation is important because you will be able to understand each other 
the energy of each other better. If you are polarized and you meet someone, you will not be able to understand what they are feeling. But if you are balanced, you will be able to interact together in the, in the telepathy that is coming. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. That is why I'm talking about a greater balance. So that is a good question. And it tells, lets me tell about the balance even in a greater way. Okay. So that, does that answer your yes. question? Yes, it does. So I, I am looking for you to all be in that meditative balance because the energy is important. I must speak about that as much and get that across to as many people as possible. Also, the blood moon is the strongest and most powerful blood moon that the earth has seen in centuries centuries because of the entering of the age of Aquarius because of Rosh Hashanah the eclipse the blood moon all the energies that are moving and with the age of Aquarius are new energies for Mother Earth and that is the Sun like energies that you are talking about and the glowing of the earth will become greater because when emitting energies you see the, the earth will look like a sun from other places in the in the solar system. But this new earth, the, the dark ones or the negative energies won't be able to survive on it, right? Is that kind of Not true. No? The dark energies will be able to survive on it because they have free will. And if they are able to, if they are strong enough to, they will survive. During this free will, they will not be happy. And that's why the negativity will be stronger, because they'll be agitated and brought back. But there will be some entities of darkness that will leave. I told you that many are moving away. Mm -hmm. Many are moving away, but those that are very strong will want to keep control of what they have. Okay. They want to control what they have. And so you will see them fighting stronger in a, a negative way. But they will not leave because they have free will too and they are not going to be defeated mm -hmm. that is they are stubborn and but the weaker of the the negativities will move away they just can't deal with it so would it be helpful if we just send them love then the ones that are you not, that um, is the perfect thing to do okay. that is the perfect thing okay. to do now is I know that you understand what I'm saying about the balance and about the energies. What, what is happening here today is very important. And I know that you sense that. The, the energies have already are ramping up. They're already started. They're already in action. They're already starting to flow. It's like they're, they're coming, they're, they'll come into their fullness on the blood moon. And also the, cha the change of energy from Tibetan to Peruvian energy is already starting, but that's from the 19th to the 27th. Okay. 9 and 1 is 10, is that the beginning? Then there's 9 days in between, and 27 is a 9, and that is a finishing date, and that is the blood moon. Do you think that's a coincidence? No. <laughs> Absolutely Thank not. And today... And today Today is the 19th. I do realize that. <laughs> and this is the beginning of the energy exchange between that pole, those areas on the earth. And you will feel that energy getting stronger each day for the next nine days. And then we'll have the blood moon, which is a very powerful blood moon. On that day, the energies will increase and the age of Aquarius will begin. At least that's what you call it. And with the age of Aquarius, Aquarius is an air sign, and so energy in the air and a water bearer, energy in the water, You will see that the dolphins and the whales will become more active and more communicative. Scientists will be bedazzled by 
what they are learning from them at this time because they are a collector of light that hold light onto the planet and bring light communications across the ocean. As you are connected one to another, the dolphins and whales will bring that connection to other lands easily. They bring in light from other areas of the universe as well. From the Andromedan and Pleiadian Whale and Dolphin Alliance, and they do have a ship within your space, and it is working. It is a very large ship, as you know, filled with water. But they are very different colors, and they wear clothing to meet with other delegates that can understand them. So if you have a dream or a vision of a dolphin or a whale that has different colors on it, that is their clothing. They do paint themselves with different colors as to be socially accepted by other species as not to appear to be naked and to be intelligent and to give them a protocol that is acceptable for them. They are a very high intelligence. Their language is trinary. With every sound emittance comes different layers of tonality. And in this layers of tonality you will find sentences, not just one word. And that is why they were never to be understood until now. This knowledge will come forth, that they are speaking many words with one sound, and that sound mutates and brings in exactly what words they need to be spoken, because they speak it in a way that they know how it will mutate inside the water, and it will actually continue out the words will continue into the, the sentence that they need to say or paragraph. So one emittance of sound is not just one word. It is many, many. Is Thank there you, any Tucker. more questions? Yes, Sean is next. Hello, Tucker. I just want to... I don't really have a question. I just want to say something more for you. Wonderful. Thank you. I love you. I love you all. Your energy here today is beautiful. Yeah. Who's next, Dan? Go ahead, Carl. Yes, hello, Tukar. <clears throat> yes. I wanted to ask about my confusion. Um, how is that coming? I'm not sure if it happened or not. You are breaking up, and I am not understanding what you're saying. I want to ask about my telepathic infusion that we discussed in our session. Yeah. I'm not sure if your telepathic in, Your telepathic infusion is complete. Also, when you go to the colonies, you need not even speak. Your psychic ability is now intact on the fourth dimension. It is not intact on the third dimension because that is not necessary at this time. There are no others to use it with completely and purely. So, but when you come to the fourth dimension, there are many who can benefit from it because there are many who only speak in psychic languages and do not use voices at all. But you can hear their voice within your head because that's what they choose. Otherwise, some of them speak algorithm and mathematics to you, which can be broken into words. By the way, Shiny Sean, has, we have broken your binary code. I will speak to you about that, but I just, it just crossed my mind. It was not from a race that was close by but in from two galaxies from here that said it will be as it should be with you and that is their lang that is what it translated to you and it was talking about your physiology and they are saying it is as it shall be with you 
And I'm not sure exactly what that means to you, but they said you would understand. Did I finish answering your question? I'm sorry, my mind was... Uh, Sean's, Sean's dropped out of the room for now, so... He will, he will hear it get on YouTube to hear. Um, I actually had one more question uh, to, uh, a few weeks ago. I woke up and I felt a person that was laying on me and I, I attempted to speak to them, but they uh, vanished. Uh, was that an alien person? Yes. Um, you felt someone laying on top of you, is that what you said? Yes. It was the impression of Delilah. She sent something to you. She could not be with you in, in phys physicality, but she sent a hologram to lay on top of you to comfort you. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I wanted to say that thank you for that. Um, I could tell you more, but I do not think that that is necessary. Um, do you know what was happening? No, I'll like more information on that uh, later on in private. Yes. Pardon me? So I would like to uh, ask everyone to please limit your questions to two. We have a lot of questions in the queue that everyone would like to ask. So please be respectful for everyone else's need for information. Yes, Thank you so much. I will much. be leaving shortly because someone else is coming. Hello, Tikal. So if there's Neil. any more questions specifically for me, please ask. Hi, Tikal. Did I hear Neil? something? Hello, this is Neil. Neil, hello. Yes, hello. How are you? I am very well, thank you. It is good to speak with you. Yes, it's good to speak with you also. I have a question about this uh, wolf species that we've connected with. The wolf species, yes. Yes, can you tell me what the name of the wolf species is, please? They use a couple different names, but it translates to lupine. Lupine. And do they have a language that we can like that we could actually speak? They have a language, but they are not ready to speak it to you yet. Right, okay. Okay, the last question but is they do want to speak to you, but they are first listening to see what things you know already. Right, okay. Do you okay, understand so that? Yes. They also know who you are in the galaxy because you all work there. Yeah. The Council of Wonders is in their eyesight and will be acknowledged by them in a greater way in the future. Perfect. Okay, uh, you know the entity, Mr. Fingers, that we've been connecting with also? <laughs> yes. So I've got a question yeah. about Mr. Fingers. What other abilities does Mr. Fingers have besides absorbing negative energy? Because I'm using them to clean my chakras, but I know he's got other abilities. Can you? He's the one that soaks in the negative energy and destroys it. Is that correct? Yes, he's very dark looking, but he's actually very positive. He's positive and negative. He's one of the gyroscopes of the universe. Do you understand what I say, mean when I say that? He can, he balances on good and evil at the same time, if you want to call it positive and negativity. He cannot survive without a combination of both. And there are those beings that are like this. And so he will take the negative energy as food and turn it into positivity for his movement in the universe. But he cannot survive without it. Does that make sense to you? 
Yes. Yes. Uh, that's how I've been using them. Do not them, be frightened. Do not be frightened if he shows a negative side occasionally. It's just indigestion. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. So is there other abilities that he has that I'm unaware of? I didn't understand the question. Um, is there any other abilities that he has which I am unaware of? I mean, now I'm using them to clean yes. my chakras. But. Yes, there is some things that you are not aware of. Because when he cleanses the negative energy, he is also drawing more an, an energy into him. He is taking the negative energies out of each each entity that he comes to but with that a different negative energy comes into you because that is what it's replaced with so that he will not starve now in order to not be have that replaced by negative energy when you talk to this entity you must protect yourself and and he will not be able to draw on your negative energy unless you want him to but you, if you protect yourself he will not be able to do that however in in this situation I do not see anything that m malevolent coming through okay that's perfect he is if an interesting I... character like none other that I know yes Yes, he is very interesting. Okay, I will leave it at that. Thank he you very much. He is like on the Harry Potter, the the beings the that mentor. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. He yes. eats negativity though. He eats it as a that is his choice of food. Dark energy dark energy and dark matter and dark negativity of the soul it's like different kinds of food but it's all in the dark area and he cleanses it all beautiful Dan do you have a question next yeah, you have a question from Michelle as soon as I get back to it here she would like to know about an update on her DNA situation if both of them were activated and if anything special should be done and also if a higher level uh, being has a message for her as question number one. Do not worry about doing anything for your activations. They are all taken care of. Just resonate with them. They will all be taken care of by us. There is nothing that you have to do just accept them and trust that they are doing the right thing. We are monitoring all hybridizations and all sorts of acknowledgments and we are checking to make sure that they are in all in a positive manner and there is no outcome that is negative from them. No bad side effects. Also, a message for you is that you just recently had a realization that the things that you do are are much more important than you ever believed possible. Your artwork, your thought processes toward it are being guided. So do just let them be as they are. You are part of a greater network. Okay. That is the best word I can use for it. She'd also like to know if there's a message for her daughter, Brooke. Brooke, amazing, quite bright and unique. She has many gifts. Brooke, you must understand that you can take all your energy and make it positive and be a figure of great admiration. <laughs> I will speak to you more about that later. But you already are admired. But you do not even realize it. 
Hey Tucker. No, thank you. Go ahead. Sure. No. Thank you. Hey Tucker. Much love. How are you? I am absolutely wonderful. It's so thank nice you to see you for coming. <laughs> um, I will try to do as as fast as I can. First of all, I've been in the corners on the 12th, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. And I came back with a very positive and wonderful feeling that something big has happened or is going to happen. Do you know why? Because it's true. Why okay. would you feel that something okay. wonderful is going to happen and then not have something wonderful happen? Yes, there are things happening to you. You see, all the hybridizations are now coming together in a beautiful way within your body. They're starting to entangle with one another in a way that is not like anybody else on the earth. And your Amok, your brother, is there with you. And Remulak, your father, is there with you. And it will be a great blissful time after the blood moon because you are taking on energies that will help Mother Earth and help yourself to be more of who you are to be. Mm. <laughs> but you That's are wonderful. right now very balanced. You are very, very balanced at this moment. You are very grounded and you are very happy. And your mother. Mm. Your mother is coming more towards your direction now. She is seeing the light within you and Nivi. She is understanding who you are. Hmm. <laughs> I would tell her. Yes. And also on the 22, a couple of days yeah. from now, I'm going to have a um, session with Jim. I would like to uh, see you and speak with you. You would like to speak with who? With you. With ah, you on my that meeting. That is not a problem. On the 22. That is the day that. That is the day that Will and Brian leave for Mount Shasta. A very strong day indeed. Ah, <laughs> great. So I will see you then. Thank you so much and much love to you. Thank you for everything that much you Much love. And I, I did speak to your friend Ray. Ah, yeah. <laughs> How was it? Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Tia kata, moshi tia rando gua, kokarieta. There is someone else is coming. Is there more questions for me? I feel that there are many. There are so many we don't have time to get to them. Um, but you, uh, your responsibilities take priority. We can ask questions to you later. There is one greater than I coming. That would like to speak as well. Thank you, Tucker. Thank, Thank you, Much Tucker. Love to you. And remember, stay in balance. Meditate as much as you can within these nine days. Ah, it's wonderful. I love you all. And be well. Much love, Tucker. Much love to you. Much love to you. Much Namaste. Love. Now please remember that anything counts as meditation. Gratitude. Yes. Joy. Eating. You can meditate in the joy on anything. Just be awesome. I will sound different to you today because I'm in a different body and a different situation. But yet what I say will still be listenable. <laughs> Welcome. Who, who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? 
I am Cryon. Welcome, Cryon. Greetings, greetings, Cryon. Are you the same Cryon that comes to me to see Carol? I am the similar aspect to that. But it is not fair to say that I am exactly the same because we can only bring in that aspect that is able to come in. The can bring in one aspect of me and this person can bring in another. So therefore, even though the Im information will be similar, it will be unique. Are there questions? I uh, I just wanted to say hello there, my friend. This is Brian. Brian, hello. Much much love and appreciation for being here in your presence. Thank you. One thing I would like to say right at the top. I mean no disrespect to the Carol. For me being here, I am not saying that he is not my prime channel. But there were some things that needed to be said that are not being said at this moment. And the energies of this time are directing me to come to you in this fashion. Also, I will say that I do not think he will mind because he is a wonderful and amazing and forgiving and loving individual. Therefore, I know him well. And this aspect is slightly different in an in some ways anyway. But ask your questions, please. Yes, I mean Colin. To I'd, like only to give... I'd like to address that um, Lee and yourself has also been encouraging other people to channel yourself to come through. So it's very I... great pleasure for you to come through today. Thank you. I am, I am only wanting to be respectful. Do you have a, do you, do you have a message? So much. Do you have a message since you were saying that there were some things that weren't being addressed by uh, the, the, yes. cryo, the cryo and channel from Link? Yes. The balance of the energies for now, which are very important and were spoken to you today by Tukur. Let me understand that you can intend to bring everything into a meditation. As Will has spoken, all things can become part of your meditation. You do not have to stop what you are doing to enter into thanksgiving or grace or understanding of what is happening and therefore 24 hours a day you may enter into your giving to Mother Earth and to Spirit. Gratification at this time is so powerful and at all times is so powerful and this will help you to balance your energies. This will help you your joy factor to be correct. There are some forms of joy that are out of balance. Do you understand that? There's joy that's uncontrollable. Some of you have felt that. This is not a time for that. This is a time for connecting in a very normal and energetic way. Be who you are. And she said, do not polarize. And that is important. Because we want to all connect together in the same kind of energy. How are you to connect together if one of you are way up here and one of you are way down here? The middle portion at this time is what is necessary. Now, that does not always resonate with everyone. But in this time of energy change, 
I want you to be aware that that is the perfect place to be to connect with your personalities, with your own energies, with the energies of others, with all that that there is coming. And be joyous for one another. And if you do see that someone is either up or down, bring them into your normality. Bring them into your positivity. And balance them out. Balance them. Just intend for them to be balanced. And guess what? They will see your intention. Their soul will know at this time because this energy connects the souls one to another in a greater way than ever before. It's a beautiful thing. Ask me some questions. Thank you very much, Cryon. Thank you for, for those wise words. This is exactly what we're going to do on the Equinox on Wednesday. So... If anyone wants to join that webinar, we will show visualizations, exercises to stay, to be in the middle zone, to bring people to the positivity of balance. There will be many spiritual so thank encounters. You, during this there will be many spiritual encounters during this time as well. Many angels will come. Many entities will come. The Christ. Energy will be strong. The Christ energy will be strong. Dear one, I have a question. It's, it's quite a personal one to share with you. Yes. My name's Rowie. Um, I know you're aware of me because we have connected in the past. Yes. Yeah. Um, two months we ago, have. we had a very, very strong connection. Um, and it was it was so powerful. It really was. I just want to not confirm it or validate it, but why was that connection made at that time? Because you had to have the energy for this time. Your now at that time is was projected into this one and projected into the future very, very, very far. And you need this energy at this time as it projects out into the future to validate all that you are doing and to bring all that into your nows. It's all coming together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I get it. I got the messages quite clearly when I was interacting with you. Um, the only issue I did sort of have of this was speaking for you, and that is something I still would like to get a clarification on. That is not to be worried about. Do not concern yourself with that because that will happen in due time. Mm -hmm. You okay. understand that worry and doubt will not help it. It will happen at the necessary time. And that time is coming. And that's what, why the connection was strong. We projected together through, out through your future to see what was happening and to connect with that future in a strong way so that you do not lose your way and you do not let those shadow energies come between you and what is to be in your future and for our connection as well let those things fall away those doubts those fears those angers that don't belong there just let them melt away because your future is much more bright your connections with your current partner is your always partner I should say but she will be evolving as well very quickly <laughs> yeah thank you for that I want to make that brief and allow others to interact thank you Brian. did you understand what I said did it make sense to you I, I felt what you said and it makes total sense thank you Thank you, Karen. Excellent, because it's important that you believe it and do not doubt. Oh, I didn't doubt it. No way. No way. It was just, you know, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing to address when 
someone you make a connection like that and somebody else is channeling and you don't want to be treading on toes or whatever so I understand more about how that's going to work now. Thank you so much dear one. I'm feeling the Who is next? I'm feeling the energies in the room. There is healing going on here. There is healing happening in this room. And why is that? Not because of me, but because of the changing energies and the connection between you. You heal each other. You extend that love to each other and feel that. Even out in there, out there where you are, there's healing taking place and not because of anything that I'm saying or doing, but because of your valid and strong beginning connections with this energy change. This is Mother Gaia's way of saying, yes, come with me. Can you feel that? The energies here are healing you emotionally, some of you physically, some of you mentally, Ah, some of you in all ways. The balance is coming. The balance is what you make it. And you, and this will be extended out to all who hear me and watch later today or tomorrow or in the future, the balance will hit them will become part of who they are, if only for a short period of time, but I hope it lasts. But while they are watching this, it, they will not be able to not be balanced. Spirit is here to balance. Spirit is here to heal. And heal he will do. And on the Mount Shasta, there will be miracles. Miracles. Thank you, Cryon. Does that not put a chill in your bones? Does that not give you goosebumps? It does. But right now they are giving me that word. Yes. There's much Absolutely. healing going on. What other questions I have seen do you them. have? I have seen them. You have seen them, I have no doubt. <laughs> um, I have one. Yeah. I just Takara had mentioned that the the dark ones or the dark energies will still be on the new earth once it starts splitting, and um, I thought the frequencies were going to be too high uh, when when the earth splits and we have the new DNA out there. For the, I thought the frequencies would be too high for them to be able to be there. Is that not so? You must realize that all things are possible. And if, if all things are possible, then negative energies can still exist in high vibrations. However, that is only by the will of what God wants for humanity. And what he wants for humanity is the greatest appreciation of life. Without some darkness, there is no great appreciation. Now, much darkness will leave. But, he still wants you to be appreciative. So, you will see what happens. Let yourself experience it the way that you are supposed to. Do not doubt. And if you believe, if you want a creative world without this negativity, Far be it from me to stop you. Do you understand that? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think what Sandy's getting at is a little different than what you're saying, that the dark is there to always balance out the light. So we always have dark, even the very high level of dimensions. It's a catalyst for the light, for yes. motivation. Is that what you're speaking of? Yes, that is what I'm speaking of. Did it not answer your question? Frequencies being 
Frequencies can be blocked. Frequencies being very high still can be blocked by those that wish to block. They have free will sometimes, and they have technology that can block out certain frequencies. So don't be surprised if they still exist because all things are possible. But create your world in the way that you want. But it won't be this high negativity that's going to create all these issues. It's to balance the light. Am I correct? Even the very higher dimensions, there's still a polarity correct. of some sort. But, but remember, humanity brings in negativity sometimes. And if they bring it in, you see, the vibration of humanity will rise, but there will always be those that will polarize it or, or bring themselves to a place of doubt. I'm sure some of you understand that. How many times do you doubt and fear when you know you shouldn't? You doubt and fear when you know you shouldn't, but then you bring in that negativity to yourself instead of letting it go. That's all I can say about that. Let it Greetings. go. Oh, Greetings. Sorry, thought, Who am I speaking to? This is Guru Dan. How are you? I am well. I have a message from a member, from member Noha. She says, please send my love and hugs to dear cry on. She sends love to you. Thank you. And return those blessings a hundredfold. Wonderful. I have a question from our, our, our friend uh, Wendy. She says, what is her connection to the magnetic service as she feels deeply moved by this energy? You have many connections. You're connected everywhere. Wendy, whatever anything happens in the energetic field, you connect to it because you are exhilarated by all the different energies. Now, don't be surprised by that. You're just a conductor. And that is all well and good. And so do not be puzzled by it. Just accept it and bring in whatever positive energy you can with it. Uh, one question from member Michelle she'd like to know if there's any uh, higher higher information uh, for her that uh, could be offered at this time she is in a time of seeking and for a good while there was no energy or no insights coming but now it seems to, that the floodgates are opening for her and many things are opening her eyes. Many things are coming and rushing in at this time. Higher information will be coming. But, but let me tell you this right now. Bring in that which is already there because there's a, a lot for you to feed on at this time. Make sure you understand it fully before we can bring in more. Understand all, this and all these enlightened thoughts that are coming to you and you're swimming in them. You're swimming in them. And make sure that you bring them all into you before you can have more. That's all the uh, member questions. Uh, at this moment. That is Thank good because so I am I there is someone else coming as well. Okay, thank you. I will let you go for now and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Cryon. Can yes. you share a blessing before you go? Of course. Let me breathe in the spirit. carry on what message he would like me to speak to you. Yes. There are many gates right before you. Many of you see that 
the energy is here. Many of you see that all you need to do is walk through the gate, but you're afraid. The energies will pull on you to come. Obey them. Resonate with them. Love yourself enough to let yourself be who you are and let yourself go. Do not be bound by social issues. Do not be bound by molds that you can't possibly fit into. I know that this has been spoken of by many in the last few days. But the heart is a free spirit. The soul is of free will. There are many of you trapped and you don't know how to get out. The way out is through thankfulness. Thank God you don't have to be trapped anymore. The blessing on you is this. Breathe in spirit. The love, the goodness, the kindness, the wisdom, the understanding, the thoughtfulness, the energy, the spirituality, the facets that you can believe of spirit. There are other facets that you just cannot believe yet, but they are there. But breathe them in. Breathe in the understanding that you are loved. Breathe in the understanding that you are important. Breathe in the understanding that this is not an ending, but a very big beginning. A new age, a new energy, a new kind of healing. Your energies for healing will become stronger. Your energies for understanding healing will become stronger and therefore encourage greater healing. Your understanding about who you are in a third dimensional creation world will become important because this is who and how you are to proceed in reaching the next level. You can't reach it without going up the steps. You can't reach the highest levels without moving step by step. You can't just jump up there. So do not be discouraged by the fact that you can't jump a hundred yards and grab onto the next level. Move at your own spiritual speed. Move in the way that you see is possible. For those are the lights that are the brightest before you. The path will be illuminated, but it won't be illuminated up to the stars, but as far as you need to go for the next few days, for the next few months, for the next few years. Light will be shed as it's needed and you will shed light on other people's paths as well. You will not shed light only on your own path but you will let others shine on your path because they influence where you're going in the future and you will shine your bright light on theirs as well. Work as a team be who you are. Understand that you are a God creation. Understand that the creation in you is the soul of God, a smart piece of that that he gave you so that you can be a creator, an understander, someone that can move forward and are not limited by the things that people push on you. They can be as great as they want to be, but they choose to push you down so they can look great. Do you understand that? They want to be great too. They're not using their God 
soul to do it. They're using their negativity to make themselves look greater and you look smaller. And for some that works, but for me it doesn't. It does not work because you are greater than what anyone can see. You have your understanding of who you are in a greater way than anybody can possibly see. No one can see what you can see about yourself. No one can go behind those doors of secrecy and things that you hide from the world. But you know what? They're powerful too because they shape who you are. And if you let them shape you in a positive way, you will become the truth that you are. You are truth. Every one of you is truth. Truth, truth, truth. Shape it into something that can be used by everyone. Your truth can be seen by everyone if you are who you are to be. Much love. Much love, Crayon. Sorry for the Thank sermon. you so much for those words. Sometimes this, the spirit inside of this being is preachy. And that comes out. That comes out. But he, he does it in a way that is connected. So that's fine. But you, you understand that all spirits that come here and be beings are affected by his spirit and who he is as a higher self, and who he is to be in this world. So therefore, things move into a spiritual realm rather easily. So therefore, that I, I do not usually speak like that, but I'm thankful to you have spoken. And Let's we're see. thankful for you to come and speak to us as well. Thank you so much. Namaste. There is one Namaste. more that must speak. Namaste, Ryan. On Thank you so much for joining us today, Ryan. Thank you. There is one more coming. Wow, that was simply amazing. <laughs> I'm so honored to have Ryan come join us today. Uh, I am Raphael. Welcome, Raphael. Much love to you. I am the protector of you all. <laughs> and I just Thank had to come that. to tell you that your protection is guaranteed. Your life force says are necessary for who you are. And I lay across your ceiling in protection at night. And although sad and unseen things come to each and every human, and illnesses and things of that nature, it does not mean that joy can not still exist there. And protection from harmful spirits cannot be there as well. And I lift up my hands to you and say, believe that you are protected. Believe that you are loved. Believe that I am here for you in a way that is for your good. Now, I cannot stop some of the things that have to happen in your earthly contacts, contracts and individualities. And what you create is of your own free will. You understand that. I cannot stop you from creating your own free will and would not want to. But I can protect you from yourself sometimes. 
<laughs> call on me. Call on spirit. Call on the protectors of your life to be with you. Raphael. You yeah. Would you have an example of how you would protect us from ourselves? Of course. <laughs> Sometimes you are about to make a decision and your higher self is with you telling you not to do it. You feel that it is not resonating to do this particular thing, although you're rushing into it anyway. You're going to do it anyway. And I will come and support your higher self and pull you away. I have that energy sometimes, especially if it's life threatening. Uh-huh. Thank you. Blessings. But that is all I needed to say. You are protected and loved. And all those that hear this from this day on who listen to this recording will know that they are protected unless they do not want it. And they can refuse it. That is their free will. Well, on behalf of myself and the members of this community, I, I welcome the protection and the, the guidance you can give everybody since it's a very, very important moments of time that we're, 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 we're progressing at the moment. So thank you for your intervention and thank your presence. Thank you. And there will be some very important people coming to Human Colony to teach you some very important things. Embrace them. Thank you, we will. Much love. And this will end the day, except for the blessings that you all give. And I will leave you now, and leave you with a spirit of peace. Shalom Pacham. Shalom. Shitya Sasotubwa. And the Kariya Orohiya Kashun Muhota Forty Sunasu Antikumarara Sandaja. May the blessings of God fall upon you. May His light always shine on you. It does not matter if you're doing hum human things, but if the soul is enlightened then the body is as well. And if the soul is enlightened and the body is as well, then the emotions are too. And therefore, the whole life changes in a way that is joyful. It does not mean you must stop playing cards or doing bingo. But it does mean you must resonate with who you are. Much love. Much love, Rafael. Much love. Much love. Much love. Namaste. Namaste. Much, much love. So I'd like to remind everyone that Raphael, the Archangel Raphael, his name means God heals. Or God, please heal me. And it's a reminder that all healing comes from within, comes from God. So thank you, Raphael. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jim. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Jim. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. I think that's all energetically I could take for today. I'm about ready to jump out of my skin. It's very exciting. Um, I met the bliss, <laughs> but I'm also very. They say they said uh, that I'll come back to a good balance, so that's good. So, but I need a drink. Yeah, you had some good angelic. Yeah, absolutely, today. stellar webinar. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, Jim. Always. Thank you. Thank you. Um, does anybody want to lead us in a final prayer and say good night <laughs> or good afternoon or whatever? <laughs> well, Sabrina's not it with feels us. Like I feel like I've been gone for a long time. Is it, Jim, is there anybody at your place that would like to do something? 
Does anybody here want to do a blessing? Anyone? A blessing. Anybody want to do a blessing online uh, or in the room? Doing one. Yeah, Stephen. Who? Stephen says he's up for. Stephen, thank you. Go ahead, and then we'll close. All right, thank you. Much love to all. Ah, what you are doing is bringing the vastness of God into very small spaces, which is like splitting the atom and bringing the energy out in a very crazy and wild way. But we encourage you to feel the energies of change. We encourage you to move forward. There is so much light to receive. You've only just begun to see the miracles that are about to happen. We thank you and we give you honor and praise. And we lift you up to the gods and to those who understand who you are and what you will be doing. Mother, Father, God, we thank you for all that you are doing at this time. And we praise and thank you for all things that are good. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Jim. That was a good thing. Woo! I'd like to uh, send out a, a special blessing for the escalation of the refugee crisis. Did you did you hear what she said? We didn't. No, we didn't hear that. No, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put the microphone over by your mouth. I just want to send out that we all send an extra blessing to the refugees crisis that has escalated recently in Europe. Very good, thank you. Did you hear it this time? Yeah, yeah. We we feel that as well. Um, Many and brothers and sisters of ours are being displaced, and there's a lot of xenophobia going around the world through the media, and we want people to read through the lines and just embrace these fellow brothers and sisters of ours around the earth that are being displaced due to the happenings and the changes on the planet, and let's show our love and embracement to these wonderful people who just want to have a peaceful and loving life. Excellent. Well, with that note, I want to just say thanks, everybody. It's been a, a very exhilarating for me. I don't know what all was said, but it's been, I, I feel very exhilarated and feel very happy and, and peaceful and, and restful. <laughs> and uh, we're going to all go to lunch, or as many of us as possible. <laughs> Hopefully, you uh, had a good uh, webinar today. So much That's love beautiful. to you. We're not as long as usual. No, we got we got four beings in, and we still have a lot of questions from a lot of people. So I do apologize for people who, if we didn't address your questions. There will be another chance, and there's a possibility we might do a 2.0 webinar on this. So okay, if you have questions, please write them down in today's um, uh, in fact, website there's... post. They're telling um, me that there should probably be a 2.0 webinar on this, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that means. So, I'm not sure what that means. Yet. <laughs> well, we might do. We might be able to get some more questions that people had addressed today. I know a lot of people yeah. wanted to talk. To her, an, ex so. an extra session, perhaps for an hour or something, or something, two hours maybe. Yeah. We'll see what happens. How spirit guides on that, we'll see. Okay. We'll well, but, uh, if you're generous enough to have some of your time for that, Jim, I'm sure the members would be very appreciative of that. So thank you and blessings. Thank you very day. much, everybody. It was very exhilarating. Yay! I'd like to have thank everybody as well. The beginning of the power change.
from Tibetan energy to Peruvian energy, uh, the new masters will come out of Peru. So, and those sites that are in Peru, such as Machu Picchu and uh, what's the other? Uh, Uno Punco. Uno Punco and uh, in Chile, Easter Island, all those down there, all the all those great big giant balls in the jungle, things will come to light with why they are there and where they came from. And because you can walk through the jungle, I guess, and find gigantic spheres of rock that mm -hmm. no one knows where they came from. So and people couldn't chisel a sphere of rock that perfectly so we know that we have some visitors here so <laughs> right the female energy the heart of the earth is still in Hawaii in many senses but this is her energetic center Okay, and also Iceland has something to do with that too. There's a an energy on Iceland like none other in the world. So, and that's a very healing and beautiful and wonderful energy. Also, uh, they're talking to me about going to Iceland someday, and I'm not there yet, but I would love to go. We're we're hearing the um, the third eye um, chakra of the world is moving to Iceland because of that's, Iceland's expansion. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm getting to. Okay. Yeah, There's I just got a yes on that, that too. Unlike any other, on it, yes. There's an energy there that's unlike any other, and that's come through me for, through many different sources, not just one. Um, people that have been there are like e just saying how different the energy, how beautiful and pure it is. And, I, and then Spirit spoke about that energy as well. And so we know that... Uh, there's something going on there as well. So, yeah, it's an amazing island. I recommend if anybody can go there. I really recommend it. It's beautiful, really beautiful. So, thank you, Jim. Um, thank you, thank Dan. You. Thank you, Will, for helping out today with. Thanks, Will. Uh, I'll see you on Monday. My pleasure. Dan, do you want to say something? I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, today. I'd like to thank everybody for all their great questions, although we didn't get to get to them uh, for the most part. Uh, if they could post their questions on the events page, on the Google Plus events page, so they could be all centrally located, and uh, uh, that way Jim can look them over later. Uh, that would be awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I just want to end thank on a few, few announcements today. Um, obviously, we have been humancolonies.org, www humancolony.org is our website. You can find us there, find out what's about us. We also have pages on Facebook, Google+. We do Twitter announcements as well, so keep an eye out for our events. We are now pretty much running an event nearly every day of the week. So if you want to get involved with us in any sort of fashion that takes your desire, takes your passion from meditation to sleep to dreams to you know, to channeling, to workshops. We are there now seven days a week almost. So watch out for the new changes that are coming. A few hints. We're going to be having our own radio station. We're going to be having a new weekly evening channeling session. So I just encourage people to get involved. And we've got people like Brian who's interviewing all these amazing people and Caitlin and, all the, and David and everyone else who's doing this amazing channeling work. You're soon going to be guests on our new Thursday wonderful. night channeling. So we're really excited about that. And yeah. I, I yeah. really implore you to go to many of these workshops and things. They are absolutely beautiful and inspired. So, And Sarah has some uh, beautiful things with her toning, and, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to uh, bring everybody in. So, And Brian and Will with the moon ceremonies and things. It's just great. Can I just do a quick plug? Um, I will sure. be doing another Echo Bear channeling workshop, so um, keep your eyes out, peeled out for that one on the website. I will be doing another workshop, and I'll teach you how to channel with a teddy bear. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yes, that was inspired. I love it. 
I'll be doing that. The other announcements are okay. tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. EDT, we have the beautiful Kim, Louise, she'll be doing the radio show on About Oneness yeah. with Karen Newman. So Excellent. we're looking forward to that. And then Sunday evening, we have the meditation at 7 p.m. ETT with Jim. So Jim's going to be leading a guided meditation, so please tune in for that one. Um, obviously, uh, if you want more channeling today, check out trebchanneling.com because the uh, channel panel is happening this weekend. So I encourage you to check that one out. Also, um, just to let you know that Ray's dream, uh, Lucid Dream Workshop has been moved to Mondays, so just to accommodate our change. So if people are interested in Lucid Dreams and analyzing those, we have a really amazing new uh, member called Ray, and she does some fantastic workshops on uh, lucidity and dreaming, so please check them out. We're just the university That's... of metaphysical knowledge here. Uh, becoming yeah. a college. It's becoming like a, a workshop, a college of information. Every day there's a new workshop giving great knowledge about what's happening and and uh, shining light on the, the human soul and spirit and, and all kinds of things. So it's a beautiful thing. So take part. Learn a lot. So there you go. And I have a couple of plugs. As, I have a couple of plugs as well, Roy. Uh, Mm -hmm. One you would like to add, uh, her Languages of Lights uh, YouTube page is, is up for everybody. And I believe Sarah has a special event on the Equinox on the 23rd from Ireland. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. I, I recommend think, all of them. she's going because stuff. she's actually made it. She's in Ireland right now. So yeah, she big made shout it. out to Absolutely. everybody who donated Sarah to get her there. She's done so much hard work for human colonies, and for her to be there now is you're there with her. She will bring you there with her. So, it's just fantastic. I just, and I met Sarah last weekend. Love, love, love Sarah. Everybody that I met last weekend it was it was a joy to meet everyone at Sabrina's house. It was a very blissful, educational, healing, energetic message time for everybody. It was. Spirit just took over and took, did what was necessary. It was beautiful. So, love that. Very quickly, well, absolutely. I just like Spirit to, took uh, over. Well said. I'd just like to give a quick shout to uh, Tyler. Remember Tyler? It's his birthday today. Yes. I want to say happy birthday, Tyler. Hey, happy birthday, happy Tyler. Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Tyler. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank well you. done, Rowie. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love a quickly, I would love to. I'd like to plug some things as well. Please, well. So with the equinox, high noon, Pacific daylight time, show up, share your information about balancing, and things like that. Although Brian and I will do a lot of talking, it will be a very, very, very powerful event, and also we will be Absolutely. broadcasting live during the blood moon eclipse will be absolutely stellar. It'll be epic and miraculous the whole nine yards. And I wanted to say if anybody wants to come to my house and experience the blood moon together with me, that would be that's an open invitation. I have certain people that I want to invite personally, but if you want to come to my house on that night, I will I welcome you. I'm coming, Jim. I'll be there. <laughs> oh, Kim, thank you. I, I welcome you. <laughs> oh, thank you. And, and I, I would also like to say... Together. Awesome. Totally awesome. There are still a few of you that have been called to Mount Shasta. You have not pulled the trigger yet. I know you're out there. Don't be afraid. Just pull the trigger. We will make room for you. You are needed. There are people all over the planet that are gathering during this blood moon in various places that are doing awesome things. Sarah will be on Tara Hill in Ireland. People will be in Machu Picchu. People will be on, on pretty much every sacred, sacred site on the planet bringing in these energies. And they'll be at my house too. 
It's going to be yeah, epic. Absolutely. Be really epic. Well, Jim, your house is the center of the yeah. universe. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I, I know. I thought that, I, you know, I forgot about that. So... <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay. So, just to let you know, we run off donations. So, if this is, this information has been really useful to you today, or any of the other stuff that we do in our library, we've got over 200, nearly 300 videos in our library. Please make a donation to the website. Um, that will help create the new website that's coming very soon. We're very excited about, and to also let you know that we love you. So, we'll see you next week, and blessings to you all. Y'all come back now here. <laughs> yeah. Say <boy. laughs> <laughs> goodbye, everybody. The, my version time. of the Beverly Hillbilly. <laughs> Give it away my age. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.